How to permanently delete files on PC. There are several methods, such as Shift plus delete, Command prompt, Disk cleanup, PowerShell, and S delete. Let's try first method, Shift plus delete. The first method to delete files permanently is by selecting them and pressing shift plus delete. A message will appear asking, are you sure you want to delete permanently? Click yes to proceed. This removes the files without sending them to the recycle bin. Let's also try second method using command prompt cmd. Open cmd and type del space backslash f space backslash q then add inverted commas then copy the file path then paste it in between the inverted commas. Now type backslash, asterisk dot asterisk. And hit enter. Now type Y and hit enter. That's it. Let's also try third method. Search for disk cleanup in the search bar and open it. Select the drive you want to clean and click OK. Check all the boxes. Then click OK again. A confirmation message will appear asking if you want to permanently delete these files. Click Delete Files to complete the process. That's it. While these options remove files permanently, but it's not enough. Some people can still recover your data after permanent deletion. They may use data recovery methods to restore your files. With recovery software, they can retrieve files that were permanently deleted. So, what's the solution? The answer is data wiping. To do this, SysTools offers the SysTools data wipe software. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, install the software on your system and open it to begin the process. This is the interface of the SysTools data wipe software. First, we have the Select Folder option, which allows you to import one or multiple folders for data wiping. Ideal for large datasets. Next is the Select File option, where you can import individual or multiple files for wiping. Let's choose Select Folder. Now, select the folder you want to wipe and click the Select Folder button. Below, you'll see the file name and file path. The Wipe Subfolders option is enabled by default, ensuring data from subfolders is also wiped. Finally, click Next at the bottom right to proceed. Now, let's choose a data wipe method that suits your needs. There are several options available, including 0, 1 pass, random, 1 pass, wipe simple, 1 pass, random and 0, 2 passes, Peter Gutman, 35 passes, USDOD, 3 passes, British HMGIS 5, 3 passes, Russian GOST R 50739-95, 3 passes, NATO standard, 7 passes. Higher pass methods take more time but provide stronger data wiping, while lower pass methods are faster but slightly less secure. Let's select the 0, 1 pass method. However, users can choose any method as needed. Now, click on Wipe at the bottom right. A confirmation message will appear. Once files or folders are deleted, they cannot be recovered. Are you sure you want to proceed? Click Yes to continue or No to cancel. Select Yes to proceed. Once the process is complete, a message will appear confirming that the wipe process was completed successfully. The software also generates a wipe report, which you can review by clicking the OK button. This is the data wipe report, where you can analyze the results. Closing the report will take you to the progress details. The first column displays the file names and their paths, the second column shows the file sizes, and the last column indicates the wipe status, confirming that all files have been successfully wiped. At the bottom, 
you can see the total count is 1,678, with a success count of 1,678 and a failed count of zero, meaning all selected files have been wiped. The wipe method used was zero, one pass, as chosen during the data wipe process. And that's it. That's how you can securely wipe data from your PC using Systool's data wipe software, ensuring it cannot be recovered by anyone or any software.